Hello and welcome everyone to part 27 of the Dwarves of Erebor Let's Play. We continue where we left it off last time. Aye, Lord. And we're just gathering our forces down at Thorin's Rest. Ready to, well, I think take the Rune Horde. We've got four armies here going for the Dorwinian city. And after them, I think it's safe to say they're probably going to come for me. I think... <coughs> Well, I, I can't do anything till I get my forces closer, which I'm obviously trying to do at full speed. I'm also trying to bring this army down with more, um, more units. I'm trying to get them down here. It's going to be a very long time before we get them there, though. And all the meanwhile, I just need to be pumping out more units. Our economy is surging. We're getting plenty of money through now. So I'm just going to keep on getting units, more of those Dwarven Warriors. Um, I could get some of them, but I'm going to try and just pump out those Elites. Go for upgrades, start upgrading the Leather Tanner here. Although, great market, just to really push my economy even further. And really go mental. Uh, at Erebor, we can obviously recruit more of the Axemen. Um, I don't like the Vault Wardens particularly. I can't get on with them. I can't seem to get the... They don't seem to work that well when I've used them before. Um, I'm going to put out... But I could do another spy. I mean, the Matox are not too bad. I think, though, we're going to build here. We could go for the Great Market again, but I don't have enough money for that. I think it's about time we put an armor in here so that we can start getting armored up dwarves. Although, as some of you were saying, it doesn't actually add that much to my army. It just makes them look really cool. Um, I think it's down it's down here where I've got the armoured dwarves. So we can see that armor's six on these guys here. So let's compare them to the ones up here. So we're on total defence of thirteen, armor of six. If we compare them to these guys here, it only adds on one, yeah. So it's only adding on one armor with that upgrade, which is a bit sucky actually. I know they're on silver. Um it doesn't say that we can upgrade their armor again, though, so I assume that might be the same. But uh, I guess ex one extra point of armor is better than nothing. Um, also, a couple of you ask, keep asking me, why do I keep going west through kind of all these armies rather than going east um, through these lands? I think it was mainly I didn't want to piss off the the Veilsmen. I didn't want to annoy them. I know I could have just got an agreement with them. But yeah, it makes a lot more sense going east rather than the western way that I went around in Ladris. I'm a nutter. What are you going to do? Um... So we've got this settlement down here, which is now the Orcs of Misty Mountains capital. Veilsmen are here, so that's fine. So we're just going, we're just replenishing up with these guys where we can, and I'll merge them together and then march south. And this way, I will head west because obviously that's where the settlement is. But you know, that's fine. Um, Misty Mountain Orc Army. It's a very small force. Yeah, they won't. They probably won't attack us. Um, I could try and kill him. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens today. Oh, it failed again. I love how it's just you'd, you'd point at the snake. It's like, come back here, snake. This way. Do you feel I'd be more like, what the hell? What am I doing with a snake? I'm not good with snakes. I like them. I like. I think they look. They're, they're cool, interesting creatures, but I wouldn't necessarily want to hold one that's going to poison some dude. You know, where it might accidentally suddenly whip round and, and bite me. Um. So yeah, let's not do that. Um. Right. Upgrades over here. Can't do anything. So I've spent all my money. We're building up a force here. Do 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 do. Got you there. Right. I'm glad we managed to get Kandum before we kind of got shut down over here. And someone was saying I could get rid of the troll cage. I could get rid of the troll cage because there's, there's no point in having the troll cage. Most of these other buildings, even though they're orc and warg ones, actually we can get rid of the warg ones as well. Um, everything else, you, it's the the traits from it are transferable over, even though it's called an orc square or it's an orc type of one as such. It's fine, right. Um, we could build more troops up here. I'm going to hold off for a sec, though. Um, 
pipe pool, levitana. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna wrap things up there. They're not really liking being left on their own. We'll have to sort that out at some point as well. Gloin the Honourable. Eighty seven years old. Lonnie. Okay, so yeah, essentially our armies are over here and over in the west. So not much else to do but end turn. Oh hello. To deal with you, trusted friends. Um can we get map information? It's good to good. see Good. I just want to get an update on how farewell. much you guys are getting thrashed because you've lost Minas Tirith. So yeah, that's not that's not great. Not great for Gondor. Hopefully they'll be well, one hopes they'll be able to recover from this. Thorin's rest is being met with what's it there? It looks like the Dorwinian. Haradrim tribes, what are you guys up to? And Haven of Umba. Easterlings of Rund. They're actually starting to march this way. They're pulling their armies back, which that's not a good idea, is it? Are they actually realizing that I'm gathering force over here? They're all leaving the Dorwinian. Except for the army besieging them, which the Dorwinian now should be able to push them back. The chieftain has died. Okay. Capital lost. Oh, they've lost their capital. So they're getting thrashed. That's why he just died. Right. That's fallen. I see. Um, <laughs> what do you want me to do about it? Uh, I'm a dwarf up in the north. Um, right. We're the most advanced faction, though, which is good. I like that. Um, Shadow of Mirkwood is so-so. Okay, well, I'm kind of surprised they haven't declared war on us, actually. Are they taking out Isengard? Yes, it is a, a Rohiric. Um, Citadel. Fantastic. Jolly good. Um, keep moving these chaps along. We'll pick up the other units that are being recruited here, which will be ready next turn. And send them along. It's only going to be two more units. Axemen of Erebor and some more crossbows. But they'll add nicely into this unit. To meet up with these guys. And this army here. Although it looks like they're all coming in to attack us. Not sure if we can hold against all these guys. I mean these look just like a skirmisher spam army. But it's the clan ruddy warriors. Um, Vineyard Bowman. Respect you in battle. Good, I'm glad you respect me in battle. Um, obviously this town isn't the best one I'd like to, you know, defend from, to be honest. But we'll, we'll do. Um, I'm going to get some... Do we need more warriors to replenish with? No, but more archers can't hurt. Especially if we're about to be besieged. We'll keep those guys there for now. I'm just going to have to hope. Oh, we're really going to have to hope. I'm trying to get here with these reinforcements as soon as possible. We're going to need quite a few forces to smash ruin as the ability to pump out units quite quickly. And the fact that I can't get over there quickly with my units is going to be a bit of a pain in the arse. Um, six turns. Oh, that's where my diplomat was meant to be going, wasn't it? Whoops. Oh. We can make it in two turns. That's cool. There we go. Um, but yeah, so... So we've also got 13 regions, and we're going to get most of them by taking out Rune, I would assume. Agmar's gone. Easterlings of Rune remain. Mist Orcs and Misty Mountains are still there. So once we, But as I said, once we take them out at their settlement... Which is... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's here. Which is where I'm sending this diplomat to scout for me. Then, they are all gone. Um, right, let's merge these guys. And I'll probably call some forces down from Goblin Town as well. I don't like the Haradrim are so close here. I'm going to smack these guys in the face. Auto resolve that. Clear victory. Nice. They're dead. Gain has won. Good old Gain. Victory! 
Back you pop. So you'll have to jump in there next turn. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well. Do kind of need more units down here. Can I recruit any new? No. Keep retraining them, but I think that's adding armor on. Yeah, it's adding armor to the rest of them. Um, well, I got my spy here as well. And they can have quite a sizable force. So really, it would be a good idea to send some reinforcements down from Gimli. Fresh sons of the fallen and dwarven warriors. I my king. We'll leave the archers there for now. That'll do them today, sire. They're gonna have to come down. It's gonna take a bloody age. So many turns. God. I really wish I maybe somewhere I could change move. Does anyone know how to edit movement points? It just seems like it's gonna take an absolute age to get anywhere on this extended map. It's the thing I'm probably I like divide and conquer for all the variety of factions and things like that. But what I don't like is that it does take an absolute uh, maybe it's but maybe it's because I'm kind of spoilt from Rome 2 with forced march and that I can kind of double how far I can march very quickly. I think that's probably more than likely as well to be affecting my uh, influencing my decision there. Um army barracks, archery range. I want to go for more great markets. There we go. I was going to put one in Erebor but yeah, we'll be fine. Honor, my lord. Honor, my lord. Putting more troops ha Vault Wardens. Um, right, let's end the turn. No, I guess I'll, I'll just have to tough it up. To be honest, I think if I do another third age let's play at some point, I'll probably go back to using Moz. Um, because obviously it doesn't have the... You can add an extended map onto Moz, but I like the fact that you don't have to move so far. I like, obviously, that there's loads of extra settlements, but it just makes it a bit too big for me. What do you, what do you guys think? Feel, 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 share your thoughts. What do you like? Com if you've played both Moz and Divide and Conquer, what do you like? Or even compare it to the original Third Age. Uh, well, not the original, but you know the actual base mod rather than the sub mods that I keep throwing on. Haradrim tribes pulling away. I think also if um, oh dear, Prince of Dol Amroth is dead. Looks sounds like the Haradrim raiders or raiders of Wombar might be getting there, but. Um, I feel as well if there was a smaller map, there'd be more battles because there is going to be a lot of campaign-only parts in this in this series, unless you want me to cut them all out and kind of just get to big action points. But I've, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been one to kind of cut stuff out of series. I don't know. I'm like leaving all that. Oh God, we're about to be assaulted by all these forces. I respect you in battle. I march. Well, I'm going to group these guys together because we need a combined force. If they attack us here, we can probably pull back, but I'm afraid the rest of us are going to have to... Oh, God, there's going to be five armies pushing up against us. I mean, we could pull back, but I think we've got to try and hold and do as much damage to them as possible. Crap on a stick. How can they have so many forces? I don't have a spy down here at all. I've got a dwarven assassin. Let's bring him up because I need to spy on what's going on. I think... At what are we on part twenty-seven? I think at part thirty, I'll do another toggle fog of war and see what's going on. But Christ, they're sending so many forces toward us. Erebor, let's empty these troops out of the mountain. Obviously, we've got dragon slayers coming down here, so they're my best units. So they'll be able to do some damage. We can get some Dale cavalry, which I'm going to throw in here. That's the only... Someone was asking, is there any more cavalry that I can... You know, can I recruit some? No, I can only hire the Dale Cavalry as mercenaries. That's the only cav I get access to. I think there's like mods which... Or sub-mods for this which add in a dwarven chain of units. Uh, of like cavalry units. Don't, don't they technically have like goat riders as well, actually? All right, sending these guys down here. Oh, they've got an army come to say hi. So we'll see. Maybe they've got another army, another settlement down here somewhere. Maybe these are just all remnants. Remnants of an old time. And I was building some agents somewhere. Probably should 
keep up with that because I should deploy the agents too. Um, where are you? Are you Erebor? Yes, you are. Uh, we'll bring this spy down here because I need I need to know what's going on. And right, these guys are obviously ready to come down. I think we're going to wait until we've got a few more forces and send them down en masse. These guys over here, um, brewery, pipe pool. Might as well get the brewery going, I guess. Something to have. And then we'll end the turn and we're going to see if we're going to have a big old clash now between ourselves and... Um, And Ruin. Ah, oh, there we go. We found what's left of Orcs of Misty Mountains. They've got quite the force to Austin Head Hill. Which is going to be interesting. See how they hold up. Kingdom of Gondor. I'm not sure how much longer that's going to last for. At least over sort of the eastern portion of the kingdom. Oh, oh no. Veil vale of Dorwinion. See, that action to me just looks like they're trying to bribe. I've never got that. Because the... technically, I think we're out. We're out. we are allies, I think. So it would be a bit odd if they didn't want to be friends anymore. Oh, 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 they've hit my archers which have spawned outside. <clears throat> um, and they're, they're hitting my archers. I've got reinforcements coming in, but you know what, I'd rather save the archers if we can. So we're going to get them to retreat to this army around here. Are they going to besiege me? No. North Ithilien attack. I know. Dol Guldor besieged. He's under assault by the elves and their allies. Sweet. Go elves. Yeah, look at you guys. Go. Baratheon. Oh, we had you in my Elves of Lorien Let's Play. And I think you're... Yeah, you're Galadrim. Sweet. Go, dudes. Go. I mean, I could declare war against Shadow of Mordor, actually, to spice things up a bit. But I don't think I want that kind of pressure coming towards me in the north. I think we dwarves are going to stay out of it. King under the mountain. So that other army's disappeared. Uh, I'm going to create a spy just because I want to know what's going on around me. I've got an assassin here. I want to know where that army went from. In fact, I'm going to place a watchtower out here. I need to start doing that. I'll retreat back with him next turn, but I'm going to watchtower down to here. In fact, I'm just going to jump out with Dane here and watchtower here. There we go. There's the uh, there's the army. They've nipped down here. And let's have a look at these guys. What have they got left? Ooh, quite the sizable force. They could still do quite a lot of damage. Shagthak the Honourable. I don't know that someone called Shagthak can ever be called Honourable. It sounds a bit rapey. Um, <laughs> Please send an emissary to open negotiations, my friend. Um, right, ooh, uh, I'm talking of diplomats and sending them places. Yes, Treebeard's Hill. We'll get there next turn, which will complete our mission. Plenty of turns. Do, 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 do. We've got a dude down here, haven't we? Are they going to retake oh, Minas Tirith? Oh, no, 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 go back here. It looks like they're going to try and do it. They want to retake it. See, actually, with Divine and Conquer, I wouldn't mind um, playing as Gondor because I think it's. I think the fact. The reason why I hate travelling so far. Well, the, not hate, but the reason why I'm not as big a fan of Divine and Conquer with all this extra. You know, all the moving you have to do. Is because. Um, you know, all the places I need to conquer are quite far away from where I start off, whereas Gondor, Mordor, they're opposite each other. Perhaps. I, d I don't know. It'll probably grow on me. Aye, Lord. Aye. Now, we Aye, could Lord. strike these guys here. I kind of want to know if they're going to assault me or not. They've pulled back their other armies to here. So it might be an idea to try and strike these guys while we can. But another way, I'm kind of like, could I hold out for a few more turns until the rest of my army comes. So I'm going to pull these guys back this side of the bridge and try and draw them out if I can. I don't think they actually want to attack me while I'm here. Um, sending my spy down here. Because if there's any opportunity to strike at Rune and draw their attention away, that'd be great. 
Dale's pushing out quite considerably. They've got they've got a pretty sizable force. They're doing well. Our treasury has dipped mahusively. I don't know if that's because I've been taking lots of units out and I'm recruiting loads. Or what? Um, but should be fine for now. Obviously, we're bringing these guys down very, very slowly so we can hit these guys. They'll meet up with Dane's force. And so I'm going to give it one more in turn before I really most likely have to make up my mind about what I'm doing with Rune at Thorin's rest. Got to make my mind up soon. Or else we'll be in trouble. Easterlings of Rune, are they going to assault me? Yes, they are. Okay, well, I'm going to try and break that siege with that other army, then. In a way, I'm kind of glad that they've made the decision for me of what's got to happen. In other way, I wouldn't mind them trying to attack me, but I these guys are just sitting back here, so... Got to try and push them back now. There's so many skirmishes, though. We're going to be ending up chasing them forever. I mean, I've got a lot of troops here. Reasonable number in there. And hopefully whatever we lose will be made up by the reinforcements coming down with Gloin. Although no more like he'll die just as he gets down here. But anyway, let's push these guys back. And I don't want the, this army to be controlled by the AI. I'd rather control them as reinforcements as when, when they come in. I'll be the same with the enemy reinforcements then. Can't attempt a night attack. Lord Thalor and Captain Balmir. Maybe, actually, maybe if he does really well, he'll get honours. So, here we go. Risking it all on, for the dwarves. For Thorin's rest. Hopefully we can destroy them. Yeah, I'm going to deploy on a nice sunny day. This looks good to me. Okay. My general's in my crossbow unit. So that should bode in our favour of him hopefully not getting killed. Crossbows, plenty of you. These guys are going to be my main group actually along here we're going to try and push and flank with these swords iron guard from another direction reinforcements have arrived so the first of them are coming in we can see the enemy reinforcements coming in from up here they're yet to enter the battle my reinforcements are coming in from behind, or rather they're waiting. The first few are coming on in. Um, I'm probably actually... Oh, I'm not sure whether I'll wait. Ooh. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. They're obviously on skirmish mode. Oh, no, they're not on skirmish mode, actually. Run, guys, run. Oh, dear. Oh, they actually pulled back. I'm not sure if we got a bit of a volley in there or, or what, but... Um, we seem to push them back a little bit. Which is good. Um, right. I'm just going to start pushing forward a smidge here. My crossbow should still be able to fire here. And where is he? He's over here with his guys. I mean, we should directly try and combat their reinforcements coming in over here. Oh, what, how have they been able to spill them all in? That's not cool. So the AI can have all their reinforcements, but I can't. Unless this army is that small. Probably, hmm, I don't know, probably a mix of both. Well, we don't want these guys caught out on their own, so we better pull them up over here. 
Looks like the enemy's waiting for their reinforcements. I don't really want to wait for them to get their full strength. So we're going to push forward with my skirmishers. Push forward with these guys. Start flanking around with this slot here. Forward dwarves. Go Axemen, go. Because the AI is pulling back to reform with its full force now. And uh, not sure how. How these guys are going to fare here. I'm not sure if they're pushing forward or not. They pulled forward with some tribesmen. And I thought that was a good idea. Come on, crossbows. Fire for me, lads. That's it. Reload and bring these skirmishes down if you can. Looks so like we've got infantry coming toward us here, Clan Guard. We're going to push forward with all of our troops over here. I said we're going to push forward with all of our troops here. <laughs> and with my archers again, we're going to push forward here. Keeping an eye on those reinforcements. Keep pushing, we've been hit here by these guys, by the clan guard. I'm gonna try and flank round with the rest of the Iron Guard. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Obviously the cavalry may well do a fair bit of damage to my infantry here. I'm trying to break these guys. We're gonna get stuck in against them now with my infantry. Enough hanging around, it's time to do battle. You have to be careful of this cavalry though. Because they've done a number on our troops already. We also have to be careful about all these skirmishes we're trying to chase away. Pull my archers and skirmishers in the middle here. Go to the next unit of clan warriors. They're actually pulling up to face our sort of combined threat here. They're charging with cavalry, which is the problem, because I don't really have a direct counter to their cav at the moment. Axemen of Erebor charge, get a good charge in here. They're going to need some support soon. More Axemen of Erebor charging in here. Nice. That hack. They're getting hit pretty hard by the cavalry. Go after the bodyguard if you can, guys. More Axemen of Erebor over here. Like how their reinforcements aren't really doing much, which is good. It's helping me out. For a unit called the Iron Guard, they're actually not that good at defending. <laughs> right, I'm going to push through here. We're hacking away at the Clan Guard here. I don't know if any of my skirmishers are still able to fire on some gaps against the enemy here. I haven't really positioned them in the best way. We can have them around here if we can. And a few of them up there. The battle is very much in our favor. That's if good. We remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Orikani nobles getting stuck in. 
and pull these axemen away and hit the clan guard in the back. That's it, crossbows. Keep coming, keep pulling around here, please. Surprise the clan guard here, still holding. They've just broken, though. These guys are trying to wreck my iron guard. And they're sending in their clan crossbows now. All these guys, if they could fire in here, help out my Oricani nobles, that would be great. these guys press between two units. You've even got the axe arrows over here actually. We've got, we've got axe arrows still. And they're being hit by the enemy skirmishers. The old axe being tossed. Missing most of their targets. Getting a few kills. We're going to charge on in. And 14% only, we've, loaned, yeah, we've only lost 14% of our forces, which is good. Let me take down the bodyguard with my archers and crossbows. Oh, that's a good volley straight through there. Come on, knock them dead. They're going to charge in, which is going to cause some trouble, and hopefully we can send some forces to help them out soon. Send these guys up. Hit the hunters over here. Keep pushing. The thing is, there's no way of us easily able to replenish these guys. That's the thing. With once these guys are sort of defeated, I've got I'm so far away from the mountains where I can get out my elite troops. Can't easily rebuild these guys. It's like why well, I don't like taking that many losses, but I can't replenish. It's gonna take a very long time before this settlement, Thorin's Rest, is gonna be capable of this needs its next upgrade to be able to start pushing out the stronger units that I need. They've got their reinforcements slowly thinking about joining in the battle over here. Fast forward a little bit to see what's going on, going to go on here. Okay, I'm going to take the speed down. Back down normally now. Finish off the rest of their forces. Oricani nobles. Smashing through these guys. Take down their general if we could. About to charge into these guys here. Hopefully they'll stick around to be killed. Would be preferable. These guys are all pulling back. What have we got? Oh, we've got Axemen that managed to chase these guys all the way down here. Wow. Go for Axemen. Didn't even realise they'd got that far. Okay, so we've defeated the main... Well, the first force, now I've got to deal with their reinforcements. But the thing is, I don't want to pull my troops too far away because we've got to turn and hit, hit these guys next. Which ain't going to be so much fun. I also don't want all my troops being sent down here, really. So, I'm pulling them back. I'm not going to chase anyone down there. Reform my line and we'll push up against that other army now. Try and break them completely. Oh, General's bodyguard's coming back in for another go. Come on guys, give it another go. Archers firing. 
don't know if my crossbow can actually fire. They are, they are firing through my own units, it's fine. Yeah, one of them's down. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. These axemen are still holding here. Those guys have routed. We can still have them here. Chopping away at the step hunters. At least my reinforcing army from Thorin's Rest isn't getting caught into this. I'll have to merge these guys and send down more more troops. I've got high quality, but I can't pull them down that quickly. Come on, bring them down. Now, like, yeah, I, I said, I said, I didn't want to bring my other my remaining force in. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, because I don't have, I don't get direct control over them. Um, which sucks a little bit. The system is is all right, but it's not amazing. These axe men chasing these guys back on up here. Oh, I didn't realize these guys were still having fun. A couple of troops down here against more step hunters. They really do have an issue with them, don't they? Alright, come on, bring down the last one now. Surely that's got to be the general as well. On a well-timed crossbow bolt, come on. He's going to turn around for another charge, isn't he? Yep. Come on, crossbows, one of you's got to hit him, surely. Come on. Volley! No. Fine. Infantry drawward halberd men get stuck in there. They're all firing into his horse now. It looks like they're all missing, though. <laughs> I guess he's the general, so he will have a stupid amount of hit points. Me! Finally. I'm glad we have. They've broken. Yeah, there we go. These guys, I w would assume, haven't broken. But I would assume now... Ah, dear. Horse guard. Yeah, they're going to be in full attack mode. Boar has fallen, so we need to reform quickly. I need all my forces here. Reform my line, reform my line, reform my line. Uh, skirmishers, archers. Hold back here. Reform the line. I've got all these guys pushing down against us. Cavalry incoming. Going to do a lot of damage. It's going to hurt. Axe throwers, you know what? Sacrifice yourselves. Try and hold them back for a little bit. And I think a couple of those units I just told to get into line were over here. Yeah, the axe. Dwarven axe men. Well, I'm sure they'll cause some trouble on the flanks for me. Cavalry I'm not looking forward to trying to deal with. Crossbows, if you can. Start off by taking them down. Oh, we've got Axemen. They're going for the Axemen. We should be able to hold them up then and fire into their flanks with my crossbows. Anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap up this part. We'll continue the battle in part 28. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please remember to comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the Legion. Find out what happens to the battle next time. Ciao for now.